Welcome back, my friend, to another episode of Life is Strange. This is the fourth one now. We hooked up with Chloe. We saw Warren get a beatdown for us. Uh, Nathan Prescott's going psycho. Come on in. Don't be uh, shy. There's a lot going on. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. And here we go. We're either on chapter two or we're just picking up with a very long chapter one. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Uh, no, drug bitch. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Old cardboard boxes. <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Let's try that again. <gasps> Dude, you broke my... Bro, oh, thanks. <laughs> and it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Wow. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. She living hard. Chloe's dad built this dresser. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. What's in this drawer? No, I don't want to look at the postcard. I want to look at a drawer. Come on now. We had such a blast drawing these together. Yeah, that's cool. I had a friend like that. We did stuff like that with each other. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. Wow. That was a repair bill. I'm not into them. Too pretentious. Power strip. Let's burn down the house. There we go. Wow. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. Now let's see what kind of music Chloe is into these days. It's like everybody has a freaking missing. Poster. Is this a desk or a storage space? I've got one of those. I think this junk swallowed her desks. What's in the trash? Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? Wow. She does love trouble. Good lord. High maintenance. See, she's not blonde. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. You turn gay on me, Chloe. So, who is she? Do you mind talking about her? Rachel Amber. She was my... angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot, even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. 
Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. I see why. I bet your mom was not too happy. She was happy enough to marry a Nazi. Reason number 356 to escape. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Sure. You mind, uh, not hitting the draw so hard? Man. Weepy Wilma over here. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Ah, well then. It's not so bad that she's a stoner, but, uh, I hope she doesn't start busting out with a crack pipe. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolf. But here I am. You can go home again. What's in here? Fifteen kids in the backyard drinking wine. This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. Alright, so the bird hit the window. Oh shit! Poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. Yeah, we can. Alright, so open the window. Alright, bird. You've been resurrected, birdie. Fly, be free. I wonder if that bird's gonna follow me. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. $4,339.13. Okay. I see. I'm starting to understand a little bit better. I don't think he's a cop. Oh my god. It's him. It's him, the guy at Blackwell Academy, the security guard. Holy crap. O positive and Baptist. Well, that sure explains a few things. No, no, we know him. Ooh, I want that. Give me that. Let me have it. Dang it. All right, bird. Seriously, you need to get out of here, man. Uh, 
Uh, close window? No, let's leave it open. Let's leave it open. Let's leave it open because that bird may want to fly out. Um, and if I leave it in there, then... That was a blue jay, also. Keep that in mind. Brother Jay, Blue Jay, you know. Really? She wouldn't? Yeah, I can see it reads hair dye. Come on now. Not good. Not good if she is. Poor girl's just completely lost her damn mind. I mean, I know I've got abandonment issues of my own, but. There's just certain levels that you, you shouldn't take it. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. Okay. What? Sorry, Kate, I chickened out. Could have helped me out. Yeah, I did in the long run. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. <sighs> I'd love to go to Paris too. At this rate, they'll be. Blah blah blah. Joy still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. Okay. What's this? Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. Damn, it's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. Looks like a ship wreck now. Come on, open it, chicken. Hold on, and I'm not chicken. Prove it. You drink first, Max. No way. It was your idea, Chloe. Whatever. Give me that bottle. Well? Tasty. Very tasty. Here, I, I want a sip. Sorry. This is not for kids. Don't be greedy. Give me some. Oh shit, the carpet. There's wine all over. What do we do now? My parents are coming. Cover it up. Hell of a memory. Turn that off. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Wow. Set. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. What's in here? Oh. Back in the house? Yeah, we're back in the house. Alright. Shut, shut. Okay, don't shut the door then. Who cares? 
Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. Yeah, it is. Files. I wonder what's in those files up there. Shit! Butterfingers! Okay. Well, never mind then. We don't need to know that bad. Good thing I've got that special power. This must belong to Chloe's stepdad. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. I know, right? This isn't Doom 3. What's in this cover? Another TV. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Wow. Okay, so he knows I let the bird in. I've been nosing around. Should I switch this on? Decisions, decision. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. I should take a picture of that. Uh, that's where he wants to put all the cameras. Yes, score. Hmm. One of, them's missing. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Chloe's stepdad is a veteran and a security guard? He must really hate her. Okay, what's in this one? Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. Yep, told you. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Nothing. This is so lame. Blue blank. What kind of tools do we got here? These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Trophy. Poor little deer. It's not enough to kill you. They have to display your head. All right, you know what? Don't get all sanctimonious on me, girly. I guess they're aging, these books. I love that they have the same old answering machine. And there's a message. Chloe, if you're listening, Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered... told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. Huh. I'm serious. All right. Brr. I can feel Autumn pushing out this. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder if he was the last one to use this.
Oh, I loved this swing. William made it just for me and Chloe. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world, go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. You're missing What are you talking picture. about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. We made this grave for Chloe's kitty. Poor Bongo. You never saw that car coming. Alright, seriously? Can I find some tools? We gotta go back in here. Uh, where are the freaking tools? These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Okay. You know what? I know. I know. Um, this isn't going to end well. Oh man! I'll always make them fall. But... Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. Alright, let's get these back up on the shelf. Okay, let's open this cupboard again. Maybe there's something I missed. No? Nothing I missed there. Oh! Here we go. Boom! Precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. That does not look stable. Catch him! That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Yes, here's some ancient cardboard. Alright, I think I need, uh... Man, I should have done that before they fell. Here we go. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. All right, now that I've got the, uh... I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. Yeah, now that I've done screwed around. Oh yeah. Forgot I gotta hit the left mouse button to climb upstairs. Hey Chloe. 
You asleep yet? No, but you changed shirts. Hard to believe Chloe was my BFF just five years ago. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. Thanks. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Are you shitting me? That asshole's everywhere. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Yeah, I did. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you are a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared, too. I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Like who? Like anybody. Stop stalling, sister. The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> Times like I told you to stop blasting that punk shit. Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill. I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing! Give me a minute! Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second! My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. I'm not a kid anymore. I can't hide under the bed. Three Where else? Open the door. One, two...
please. One second. Boy, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait! Is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon! Hey! Leave Joyce out of this! I wish you'd leave Joyce! Like now! Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother and you just keep pushing me. By the way, I have proof you got all up in Kate Marsh's face today. Surveillance proof. What? You best stay out of my work. Then stay out of my life. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hickhole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? You know what? Let's find out. Chloe? I'm coming! What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing! Give me a minute! Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second! My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. All right. Did you take it? Speeding up. Whose is it? I'm sorry. That was my joint. Well, well. I don't like strangers in my home. Especially dopers. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Oh, you're on a roll today. Between the fire alarm and now this? You don't have anything smart to say now, do you? Get the huh? hell away from her. I have proof you hassled Kate Marsh today. What? What are you talking about? I have surveillance proof. Now please leave us alone. Okay, Chloe. You know everything. And Max, if I find you here again, it will be the last time. Because you're such a badass, Max, let me show you my new toy. I'm Price. Chloe Price. Bang! Jesus, put that thing down! Chillax, sister. It's not even loaded. Yet. I thought you believed in gun control. Yes, I believe I should control the gun. It's the men who need to be checked. You trust Nathan or David? Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Alright. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody. Even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. Yeah, that's all fine and good, but let's go ahead and roll with it like this.
I have a feeling this was the better way to go. Because that's something I would have done in real life. I would have taken up for my best friend. You know, even now, six years after we fell apart, I would still take up for him if he needed. So, that's kind of a, a sobering moment and one that we're going to go ahead and end the video on. Um, hopefully you're enjoying this. Uh, if you have a best friend, which almost everybody does, you should go ahead and give them a call and let them know. Just how much you appreciate them being in your life. I, uh, I know if I could, I would be doing that right now. Because, man, that dude was crazy, but he was my best friend, you know? Still is. Well, I'm getting all misty over here, so I'll let y'all go. Stay frosty, my friend. We'll see you later. Thank you.